Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj and today I'm going to talk about table variables. So the syntax to create table variable is very much similar to the syntax to create normal variables in SQL Server like declare, add the rate sign, then the variable name and then uh, a variable type that is table and the column definition. We'll see it here. A table variable is, is also created on disk and TempDB system database but the name of this table variable is generated completely by the SQL engine and it also differs from the other similar name tables created in same or other sessions. Okay, so I'll just uh, remove all this and I'll create a table variable. So to create a table variable, what you have to do is you have to write declare the table variable name as table and the column names call one int call to int okay so so this is the way you can create table variables and let's query this table variable okay so here as we already declared this table variable but if i'm trying to retrieve values from it it is not giving me so these are variables so you have to include the declare statement as well so as you can see here column 1 and column 2 are the columns of this table variable okay now let's see the existence of this table variable in information schema mdb dot information schema dot tables so if you can see here although you give it a different name like at the rate t where it is created with an entirely different name by SQL Server Engine. The third point says that the scope of a table variable is limited to its batch only like other variables. Contrary to the template tables, they are not visible in nested stored procs and in EXCC statements. Okay, so what does it mean? So as I already showed you, you know, I declared a variable and I then selected it. But if I do it in different batches, in the first batch, let's say I create this table variable. And let's say in the second batch, if I try to use it, I cannot use it. It says that you must declare a table variable. So I have to use it in the same batch, right? So this is kind of the same batch. Or even you can use the batch separator also. Let's say I have a batch separator like this, right? If I'm going to use them in separate batches, then I cannot do that. So these two statements, the, the declaration of the table variables and the usage of table variables should be in same batch like this. And not only this, when I'm even I'm inquiring about a table variable in information schema, it won't show me anything here. Uh, it it won't show me anything here in the query results because the batch ended here. So I have to include this thing also in the query batch. Then only it will show me the table variable name because it exists till the batch separator that is go. So the life cycle of this table variable t var is till here only. So it is declared here, used here and here, and after this go, it is just dead. It does not exist. Table variable gets dropped automatically when the batch ends here after the go batch separator or a stored proc or function execution ends or goes out of the scope. So as we saw here, the batch separator like go, or if this variable is a part of stored proc, if the stored proc ends, the variable is also cleared out of memory. Okay, uh, the fifth point says that a table variable is created in memory. This is a myth. The, they are also created as temp table and created in temp DB, but they perform slightly better than temp tables because there is even less locking and logging in table variable. So as you can see here, the existence of this table variable is even smaller compared to temp tables. So the locking and the concurrency is very less compared to table variables also. Six point is table variables are the only way you can use DML statements on temporary data within a UDF. You can create a table variable with an UDF and modify the data using one of the DML statements. This is not possible with temp tables. Okay, so if you are using UDFs like user defined functions, inside those user defined functions, you can just use table variables. You cannot use temporary tables or normal tables. Okay, seventh point is the table variable will always have a cardinality of one thus the statistics are not tracked for them and may result in a bad query plan so if you are using table variables for a complex query and you are expecting some performance out of it then uh, the table variables are bad candidate of it because the table variables the cardinality of records is only one 
so if you see in the exhibition plan the estimated number of rows you will always see one and irrespective of the number of rows are there already in the table variable so in that case you should use temporary tables now we came to the limitation with table variables so there are some limitations with temporary tables also but there are more limitations with table variables that we'll see here okay so table variables do not participate in transactions and locking so um, if you have a transaction explicit transaction with begin tran and commit tran so table variables are not part of it so let's have a small demo here begin tran and uh, let's have these also here okay so if i execute this and I declared a variable and I started a transaction. I'm inserting a row with values four and four. Then I'm rollbacking this transaction. And after that, I expect that after rollback, these well, this inserted value should also get rolled back. But no, this shows me that uh, the table variables does not honor transactions. Okay, uh, you cannot use a table variable in either of the following situation: uh, insert table exec sp some procedure. Uh, starting in SQL Server 2005, this limitation was removed and table variables can now be used as destination for insert exec commands. Uh, select star into add the table from some other table. Okay, so you cannot do a select star into a table variable from some other table, but you can do with uh, temporary tables, hash tables, or with the normal tables. Third is you cannot truncate a table variable. Okay, so let's see here. So I created this table variable and Uh, let's try to truncate it yeah so it says incorrect syntax so you cannot truncate a table variable table variables cannot be altered after they have been declared they cannot be altered because they are not created with create table statement it's a variable so um, so any changes you have to do you have to do it as a design time you cannot add a column or you cannot change the data type of any column or you cannot remove or add a particular column over here you cannot explicitly add an index to a table variable however you can create an index inline through a primary key constraints and multiple indexes by unique constraint so after i created this table variable i cannot add an index just like the way i did with temporary table i created an index on top of this i cannot do that here to create, I can just create a primary key or a unique key in only in line here while I'm declaring it. So I, what I can do is I can provide a primary key over here and I can provide a unique key over here. So this is the only way I can uh, create, okay, just unique. So this is the only way I can create indexes on it so adding primary key will create a clustered index on this table variable and the unique key will create a not clustered index um, on this particular table you cannot create a named constraint on a table variable you cannot use a udf in a check constraint and computed column or a default constraint you cannot use a udf in a column definition Unlike a temporary table, you cannot drop a table variable when it is no longer necessary. You just need to let it go out of scope. You cannot build the table variable inside dynamic SQL. So, okay, so if you are using dynamic SQL, so the, uh, you should not use table variables. Table variables are not visibly to the calling procedure in the case of nested stored blocks. It is possible with the temp tables only. You cannot insert explicit values into an identity column of a table variable. The table variable does not support set identity insert on and uh, thank you for watching this video and please let me know your comments thanks